87. Uh, was it really a special year for you? Absolutely was. I mean, I come from Ireland, which is a small country and a small cycling nation. So all of the events of 87 are very, very, very it was a huge year for, for, for Irish cycling and indeed for Irish sport. And you saw everything, Giro to the France and the World Championships. The Giro I saw from, from Ireland, I, I didn't follow, I followed it closely, obviously. Uh, but then on the on the Tour de France, I was covering it for Irish television, so I was there every day to watch that. And likewise, for the World Championships in Villac, I was there likewise when, when Stephen uh, completed the triple, and it was, it was an incredible experience to be there. But was it something you expected? Well, we always knew that Stephen was a class rider. He had won the Paris Nice as, as a young rider. He had many, many good results. In and the Tour de France seemed to he seemed to perform always very well in the Tour de France. So, uh, I think the Giro showed a lot of character because he had to fight with his own teammate Vicentini, and uh, he showed character to come through that. Um, then in the Tour, he was really on, on top form, and, and uh, he, he was certainly going going to go in there to try and win the Tour. And so, you know, the the, the end result wasn't a huge surprise, but still a, a major shock for a small cycling nation but then the world championships itself uh, was really the icing on the cake and uh, he went in there purely to ride for Sean Kelly he had no intentions of winning it himself he wrote, went in to ride for Sean did everything he could for Sean and then Sean was marked so closely uh, the, you know that at the end Stephen took an opportunity and, and went on to win the race and it was an incredible uh, treble. Did he change anything for Irish cycling? It did indeed. It meant, uh, you know, a little bit like British cycling is at the moment. It meant a huge influx of members, a huge influx of interest. Unfortunately, I think the federation was too small and wasn't properly able to deal with with the influx at the time and didn't capitalise on it and wasn't in, in the same sort of professional way that the British federation is now. But it did. It, certainly, the numbers that came out for the years afterwards were, were, were very, very big. But uh, now they've died away and now it's uh, it's back to normal again. Do you have any funny memories from this special year? Oh, memories, yeah, many memories. Uh, you know, in the in the in the in the last days of the Tour de France, for instance, dealing with the Irish government and uh, with the Prime Minister himself, saying, "What he was he going to come over? Was he not going to come over?" And uh, you know, on the Friday he was going to come over, and then the Saturday, because of the time trial, he didn't know if Steam was going to hold on to the you know or take over the yellow jersey and, and and win 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 the race. So the decision wasn't made until the Saturday evening, and so uh, I remember well on Saturday evening getting the phone call phone call from the Prime Minister's office saying he was coming, and we had to deal with that. With the, with the organizers of the tour and then you know Stephen arrived on the podium and uh, the Irish Prime Minister went straight up to him to congratulate him because he didn't know anything about this and was surprised to see him and so there are many many things like that uh, you know small little uh, you know moments like that that I'll always remember.